hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, still the voice of hardcore boxing. And still, just on my way up to Dennis's. Do a bit of filming about a show at weekend. This should be an interesting uh, meeting this today. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey. This should be very interesting. Uh, not a very good day today, is it? Not very good at all. Cold, there's some heating on. It's uh, not a good day today. Had a big plate of humble pie again. People keep saying to me, Oh, Porky, Tyson Fury's for Wilder. You said you're going to shoot your dad on channel down and retire. Well, yeah, I did, but there's other people involved, isn't there? You don't want me to put people out of work, do you? It ain't my channel them no more. So, unlucky, or you'll cry, babies. But I'll be, will I'll be more than willing to take a break from YouTube. If any of you are complaining on your fake account, you're going to come on channel instead of hiding behind your keyboard, come on channel. Look at this number to here. There's always one in there. Right? Okay. One you give. But, uh, but yeah, so unlucky. Right. The main thing I want to talk about is this is why pointing camera that way because I just want to get things perfect this morning. Mr. Ben Davidson, good old Ben Davidson. Well, he's been approached. Ben Davidson's been approached to train Wilder. How's about that one, eh? How's about that for a Porky exclusive, eh? Can I see that happening? Well, it's an easy win for Tyson again, no matter what, innit? And it helps them self fight, doesn't it? Because they're not going to be able to self third fight. So, that's the big breaking news this morning. By the time I get this out, knowing my luck, it'll be, it'll be all over the place. A bit like uh, the video I did the other day that didn't go out on time. Uh, what was that called now? I did a video over there about Pool F, why Eddie Earn what were dragging his zeals over the Pool F announce, announcement because Eddie's in a bit of a pickle in here at the moment with Pool F. Uh, you know what I mean? Eddie's in the pickle with Pooler and uh, you can't really do not with him, can he? Joshua and Pooler. I mean, who's going to want to watch that? When you've just watched Fury Wilder, who's going to want to watch Joshua against Fury? I think if Wilder does come and fight Tyson again, and I think they will, they're going to freeze her now, aren't they? Because he's rubbed a lot of people up the wrong way. I think what will happen is. I think Ben Davidson, I think he will take the job and they'll sell it that way. Listen, Ben and Tyson, are, they'll still be mates, won't they? But Tyson's pretty brutal when it comes to business and why not? He's in ring taking punches, isn't he? But I can see that happening. 
everybody knows Wilder got it all wrong with weight and Wilder will come in lighter Ben Davidson will get, teach him a few tricks regarding defence because he's a very cautious trainer isn't he Ben so just want to share that with you uh, we're doing a documentary this week about 80 miles from here so that'll be out uh, probably a week later just gonna just doing different stuff in just about everyday boxing chat there's other stuff that I like to do I'm having a bit of fun with this aren't I, I suppose Sick, just had a quarter of an apple. Stomach's bloated. But uh, it's all good news, isn't it, I suppose. It's all good, it's all good positive stuff. If anybody pulls out of me today, I'm going to catch him, aren't I? There's that many gimmicks on the road, I can't drive it right. Oh, look who we've got here! Oh, bad man, we've got the bad man. I'm not messing about waiting for you, mate. Oops, there's my tin of soup. somebody else but I would look at Ben Davidson after what I've just heard it helps him sell the fight because nobody's really really interested in a third fight but you throw Ben Davidson into the mix it's all falling into place so let's just hope that guy who's just told me keeps his word he can hold his bladder for a couple of days so I can get this out so Fury dismantled him, didn't he? I mean, bullied him, 19 and a half stone. I mean, why on earth he was coming in lighter and it passed, I don't know, because his fights weren't entertaining, were they? But I think he's now realised that it's going to be entertaining if you're, if you're going to win public over. And Eddie Hearn, and people like Eddie Hearn, and even me, I said he'd fumble his way to a victory, well, he hadn't, has he? He just put it on him, didn't he? I mean, why he's not been doing that all his career, I don't know. Interesting. Exciting times ahead. Exciting times ahead. This is why we love the sport so much, Johnny. Rough, tough, rugged. Old Bean were there, wasn't he? Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean were clocking up the air miles. Old Bean Patrol. Vegas for a BT Sport show, eh? Bean just wants to be on camera, doesn't he? He just wants to be known as Mr. Boxing, doesn't he? But when they catch up with you, Bean! Everybody can say, oh, Porky told us. Porky had it nailed on. You know what I mean? So... One of them things, isn't it? Remind then about 
until uh so beat this guy on that. Uh, on the old agenda. Bet one it. I'm not like all you gimps who went for Fury on points. Cause all you people who were telling me Fury on points, you lost two. But isn't it amazing how many people said yeah? I had round seven as well, Pork. Email me your betting slip screenshots, cause you know you didn't. There's only one guy had round seven who I know, and that was Boxing Monkey from Australia. Oh, rest and you didn't. So stop making up stories about being betting guru she didn't get it right yeah my mate jay who owns ledger frames winners at cunnisborough he had fury to to win just to win but that's an easy bet isn't it that we don't put bets out like that people need to start picking around so stop sending me your betting slips in going oh i'm going for so and so to win straight win bets get you nothing be cheeky when you have that hundred quid on a round when it gets to that round let me tell you hey, stand up on your on your arms but I always go for the first round because oh, mate, I always go for the first round because it's exciting I just want to get it over and done because if you go for the seventh round they might win in fifth so at least you're guaranteed to have a buzz for three minutes so, the wild is a good bet, isn't it? For any fighting round one. But, I'd look at Wilder activated rematch clause. They're going to drag it out and drag it out and play a game with all the rules they can with governing bodies and time limits and all sorts. So, Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn's hand has to be forced. But, sure as eggs are eggs, they will put Pulef. Joshua in together. They will, they just can't help themselves. In Barry Hearn's head he'll think he'll he'll look at it as if it's money left on the table. That's what Barry Hearn will be saying. It's money left on the table because we sold out against Pool Left before, but Tackham ended up uh, coming in as a late replacement. Do you know what I mean? So look at these group four lads here, bless them. All on the way to court. I used to be in there, they call it the meat wagon, don't they? Bless them. People making a living out of transporting prisoners should be ashamed of themselves. Should flag him off. Ah, oh, I can't get to him. I'm off up here anyway. Oh. That's a quick car, that in front. Peter Fury Jr. took me in one of them, right? I swear to God. I swear to God, I thought my time were up. He took me, right, through Warrington at speeds four times the speed limit. So imagine that, right? I'm not going to say, obviously, it's not, it's not going to be 280 mile an hour, is it? He took me on this road at a certain speed that were four times the speed limit and I, and he come to this bend and I thought oh my god I'm in so here I, I, I thought I'm going to be upside down here frightened me to death but the fastest hatchback I've ever been in I think it uh, golf, petrol, mega fast scared me to death scared me to death Banking it over on corners at lot. Rally driving job. But, uh, but yeah, 
so get your betting slips, get them predicted on a round. Pick a round and be a man. Instead of all that straight win stuff, that's not betting that. Unless you're putting lumps of money on. You know, you're getting a good return. But well, under a quid at 33 to 1, round 1. It's a good bet, that. Good bet. Yeah, it's all interesting, but not as interesting as this meeting today. Woo! The back end kicking out there. It reminds me when I used to have a Capri laser. <laughs> when I was a kid. So let's get this interview with Dennis done. I'm going to lay my opinion on him, what I think, and what we need to be doing moving forward. So it should be interesting today. And a few. Uh, hey, we could have a fallout today, me and Dan. Would you want? Would you want? Yeah, would you want? Well, we'll see, won't we? We'll see. See what happens. At least Josh Whale won, didn't he? So that's good, isn't it? Yeah, at least Josh won. Everybody won, didn't they? Except Cheyenne. Thought she got jobbed, but one of the things, isn't it? One of the things. I think I've been kicked off my script as well at doctors. You know, have a rough two week. Gotta be done on it. I have to go for get it over and done with. In bed for two weeks or not. Feel really hot now. I don't really feel very well, to be honest. Uh. Go on then. Shake a leg. Alright, bully on road, down I mean. I ain't got time to sit about in traffic. There ain't enough hours in the day, is there? People doodling and that and looking down like that. They're on the phones, aren't they? Not good. Go on, mush. Shortcutting all these little units round here and little scrap yards round here and that. Sheffield's still plating it for steel. Metals and precious metals. Been wrong game, I should have kept my Falcon scrap metals, you know. I couldn't even get a bloody waste carrier license. <laughs> Shut you down, don't they? Just my luck, I get done for waste carrier. And red diesel in one day. Oh, well, he's in. He's not in. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, it will be here in a minute. It'll be here in a minute. Eating a bag of kettle crisps. Right then. So peace out. Keep on talking. Keep supporting boxing. Fantastic sport. Put it over there, put it behind this. Right behind Michelle's car, so I have to move it for when she goes for dinner. Alright.
<laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>